Welcome guys, back to Classic Replay for yet another episode. Now if you like big engines throbbing between your legs, this is definitely the right video for you. Let's not hang about, this is the Amiga 500 version of Super Hang On. I did originally play it on the Amstrad CPC and ZX Spectrum. I love both of those versions. The ZX Spectrum for me was the better of the two. The Amstrad version being a lazy port, unfortunately. But it was such a good game that I ignored all the uh, issues with the graphics and sound. It's actually quite amazing really how the Specky version stayed really true and authentic to the arcade experience. I mean, there's nothing seriously under the bonnet of the ZX Spectrum, but the program has really pulled out all the stops uh, in bringing the experience from the arcade into the home. So here we have the wonderful Amiga version in all its glory. We've got a selection of four different courses varying in difficulty and four alternative soundtracks. All this before the start line. For those living under a rock, this is the follow-up to Hang On. I had it on the Sega Master System back in the day. I did play it in the arcade briefly, but didn't spend any, anywhere near as much time with that game as I have with Super Hang On. So Gone is the saddle from the arcade original. Instead, it's just you, the computer, and in respect to the Amiga version, a mouse, or better still, a trusty joystick for the handlebars. So let's look at the objectives uh, that come with the game. It says, hang on, your objective is to race across four continents, each with a different skill class. Each continent contains a number of stages, and each stage must be completed before the timer counts down to zero. Any time made up on one stage is added to the time allotted for the next stage. To qualify for the next class, you must complete all stages of a continent within the stage times. The higher the class, the more treacherous the track, and the more stages you must complete to help you. Your bike is fitted with the latest high-tech turbo, which you can kick into life once you reach your bike's regular top speed of 280 kilometers per hour. That's when you'll need all your wits about you, as the action really hots up. Try not to hate me when I say this, but I actually prefer the Amiga version to the Sega Mega Drive version, mainly because you can play around with the sensitivity of the bike controls. There's quite a few strategies when playing uh, Super Hang On, which should help improve performance. Firstly, on a racing bike, my, most most experts will tell you to approach a corner as close to the inside edge as possible. Well, that's not the case here in Super Hang On. Um, if, you, if you've not been getting very far in this game, you need to rethink your uh, strategy. So in this game, your best strategy is to approach from the outside edge. Yes, I know, I've just said that, unbelievable. Uh, and turbo and stay out there as long as possible. Once you've dealt with these minor idiosyncrasies in your head, and weirdly it settled in. Uh, after a couple of attempts you should find yourself hitting that sweet spot of the outside edge and uh, being bounced back into the game if you were to drift or wander over the edge of the line somewhat. I've personally played this game for over three decades so if you find yourself hurtling headlong into the wrong type of corner Obviously, firstly, pray, <laughs> and secondly, hit the brakes as hard as you can, as quickly as you can. Then, try to carefully make your way back to the inside, otherwise the bikes will hit you and hurt you, uh, especially your chances of success. The other thing is the sharp corners lying in wait at the brow of a hill. Uh, they're the enemy in Super Hang On, so you've really got to be that little bit extra switched on. The sound effects in this game and the music really does stand out. As did the graphics, they're really well done. Superb in fact. Such a, a great arcade conversion on the Amiga. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. 
let's take a look at some of the reviews back in the day. So the Games Machine UK, April 1989, they gave Super Hangon on the Amiga 88%. Super Hangon offers pure, simple fun and lots of playability. And while there's no great depth, the speed of gameplay is nerve tingling even without nitro injection. Real edge of the seat action. It's the best racing game on the Amiga. Amiga Action, January 1991, scored 80%. And they said jump onto your racing bike and zoom around a selection of testing tracks which vary in difficulty no matter what other racing games you have played you won't be prepared for the speed and acceleration of super hang on and the last review is the one january 1989 scoring 85 percent it says it leaves the newly released amiga version of outrun and almost every other race game way back on the starting grid well thanks again for watching and please subscribe, I'm already looking forward to the next video and I really wouldn't want you to miss out. Okay, thanks, bye.